<laughs> Squirrel. Squirrel. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Wish Talk. We're a day late, but not a dollar short, hopefully. Oh, real you? quick. What? Real quick. Don't forget, to, don't forget to ask about Amazon giveaways. Oh, I won't. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I won't. How's it going, you guys? Oh, it's going pretty good. It's a, a great day. So I'm excited to be on. Sorry we got the miss yesterday, but I'm glad to be on today. It's good. Yeah. We were at the museum yesterday, so what was that? Oh, man. Hey. Priorities. You what? Priorities. Yeah. Homeschooling. Homeschooling. Homeschooling, yeah. The show takes priority over everything. What does? The show. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, yeah, there's that, but. Look yeah. at the kids. Oh, gosh. Anyway, how's sales been? How have things been? Um, sales have been pretty good. They seem they seem to be picking up. I think I seem to have like a sell every day now in March, in uh, March. So that's good. But yeah. Everything is awesome. <laughs> I've had an awesome week, and la yesterday was the best week or best day I've had in years. I had twelve yesterday. Wow, that's pretty good. I very rarely go over ten, so that's kind of Amazon decided not. They forgot to shut me off at ten. I only got one so far today. <laughs> distracting you now. Hey, be before we get into like our show about merch, I think Margaret, you should share uh, what happened to you recently. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, let me pull it up so I can show people what it, it has to do with reselling. So it's really cool, I think. So, <laughs> so yeah, I got a message from. Oh wait, let me mute my chats. I made this problem. I had this problem the other day. I was in the middle of the show and my chat popped open. Like, uh oh. Oh, I forget it. Just don't post anything weird, okay? <laughs> so I got a, I got a message. Okay, I'm gonna screen share. Nobody chat. Nobody chat me right now. <laughs> so yeah, Carol in the International League of Thrifters said, "Holy moly, Margaret, you're at my Goodwill." And yeah, <laughs> so that's know. in uh, California, right? Yeah, it's in Fort Bragg, California. They that is so cool. Put it on their jewelry counter for people to buy jewelry jars like as an ad so anyway that's funny i thought it was funny i thought that was really cool yeah yeah, yeah. so okay you never know where you're going to end up that's so true. A lot, yeah people have a lot of different opinions which was surprising but i guess whatever i think it's cool but again yeah i think it's needs to be addressed my thing <laughs> is right so Gucci Bear saying you should get paid yeah. It's like one store. If it was Goodwill, like everybody, all of them using a picture of me or putting it on billboards or something, then okay. But I'm, I mean, some people are like, you need to hire a lawyer. I'm like, no, they're, all they'll say is, okay, take the picture down. And then I got a lawyer bill. <laughs> you know? I mean, I, I was looking on Google. So someone said something about Google Images. And um, well, if you look on there, like you're on there and some other people on there. So, like, they'll be like, oh, we'll just take her down and add this other lady. It says jewelry jar. So, I mean, yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. The is, there is proof that it was up there. So, legally, you are entitled to past use compensation. Okay. I mean, even if they take it down, you're entitled to compensation for the time they've already used it. Well, I did tell her. I was like, hey, Carol, you need to go, go tell them to put my YouTube channel on there. So, at least people could come find me if they want to watch. Yeah, she just said I know her, you know, and whatever. Yeah, I'll have to ask her if she if she told them. I'll just call that store right up. Let's put it on the air. She's gonna sue your butt. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not just the graphic that's up there that you created. They're using your personal image likeness to promote something in their store, and you know you may not be up for that, or maybe used for it different purpose in the store later on down the road. You don't know what's going on and they're using, I mean, that's you, you have a brand yeah, uh, with jewelry jars and stuff on YouTube and you need to protect that brand. Yeah. Jewelry jars. So <laughs> right now, Margaret's just flattered about it. So yeah, I thought it was fun. So yeah. Yeah, I, honestly, I was the first time my image was stolen. I was flattered <laughs> and everything, but then I started sitting down thinking about it, and I can't pay the bills with being flattered. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my opinion. Hey, Mr. 
water man. You don't need me to pay the bill this month. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get Margaret in every Goodwill across America. Right. Yeah. It's like the big thing with photographers is, is uh, Oh, we can use your photo and we're going to give you exposure. So people want to use you for whatever. I can't pay the bills with exposure, you know? Yeah. You should, you should spill and get them to sponsor your videos. Right. Right. Exactly. And then just like, and then they can put you wherever, you know? Yeah. And then, so every time you go on, you'll be like, this jewelry jar is sponsored by Goodwill. And it, there you go. Yeah. You're making all that cash. Yeah. So there you, you go. You are. I mean, you gotta admit, you are kind of YouTube famous with the jewelry jar thing. Yeah, exactly. There are people in California that are gonna recognize you and think, "Oh, she's endorsing this store." Oh jewelry. man, I'm gonna make a jewelry a jewelry jar shirt and put Margaret's image on there. <laughs> oh yeah, there I go. Don't take that idea, people. That's mine. <laughs> there we go. It's not trade. That's what I was like. I'll, I'll call the store and say, "I'll make. How about this? I'll make Goodwill shirts for your your store employees." There you go. Yeah, it, it was fun. It was fun. So. That is fun. That's fun. I was not. I don't know. People could take your image off anywhere and like throw darts at it. You have no control over. I, I yeah. I looked up uh, Google Images and typed in like uh, Merch University. And like, or even just merch by Amazon, and you can see like Glenn, Jacob Topping. You can see me, RJ. You can see like all of us. We're all on all on those Google images all over. So I'm looking now. Yeah, doesn't make so. it right. Jeff's on there. You know, I mean, he's everywhere. So I mean, it's just like you can't take an image <laughs> off Google Images to put on your T-shirt because it's copyrighted. Exactly. So mm. anyway. I just come from, uh, you know, being a photographer, I just come from that kind of background where you got to be really protective of your photographs, your images, your brand. But like, you're right, it's just one store in Fort Bragg, California. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll call the store up. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what do you say? Can I speak to the manager, please? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> My photograph to promote your crap. No, just say stick my YouTube channel name on there. <coughs> Tell people to come enjoy watching. That, that's fine. That's compensation. So that it's whatever you negotiate is compensation. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, okay. some <laughs> advertising person came in there and they have to have they have to have a release to use your image, your photo there. And if they don't, yeah, if they don't have that, they can get problem. <laughs> Okay, so were there any really surprising merch sales? <laughs> any surprising merch sales? Yeah, anything that you were like, wow, that was amazing in the last week. Let me um, let me see. I've had one shirt that pays that's been selling a lot. I don't you know, I don't know why. Well, I know why. It's an awesome shirt, but <laughs> I don't know if it's got posted somewhere. I mean, I'm selling five or six of them a day. They're my major. Mom, I've been George. selling a, I've been selling a lot of wedding shirts, like in that wedding knee shirts. Yeah. So that's good. Maybe I don't know. Maybe that's being real. I mean, I know it's about to be like wedding season, so I guess that's why. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, and I've been selling a lot of like spring break sh shirts. I've been selling a lot of those. So yeah. I have a big oops that I made. That, that was my big wow. I was excited at first, and then was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> I sold 11 of one shirt and I was oh, like, nice. yeah, I was like, oh yeah, all in one go. And the, the revenue that Amazon made off of it was 175 bucks. And I was like, yes, let's look at my royalties. It was like $9. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was one of the ones I hadn't bumped the price up yet on. Oh gosh. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> so uh, that's frustrating. I know when that happens. Yeah. I wouldn't bump the price up on it, but I can <laughs> Oh well, it was nine bucks. But hey, nine bucks, yeah, yeah. Dollar shirt, I think. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yep. yep. There you go. Okay, so about the, I, somebody mentioned on one of my videos, the video where I showed how to do the Amazon giveaways for shirts that they didn't do it anymore, and then somebody else messaged me as well about it. And so, what? They don't do it anymore? Yeah. Or I, so I was trying to look and see. If it's just gone or 
because I was trying to figure it out. Like, I don't see it on there either now. I know um, it was last year because I haven't done them in a long time, but they were limiting in it based on the content of the shirt. So mm -hmm. some shirts could do it, but like um, shirts dealing with alcohol, they wouldn't do it. Okay. So mm -hmm. I don't know if that's that. So I'd find your most G-rated shirt and see. Yeah, the one I was looking at had beer in the word. <laughs> Let me pick a different one that's not beer related. You got to choose the size first. Choose Let the me size. see. Yeah. And then you go down. I don't see it. Hmm. Yeah. And this is just like a random Oklahoma shirt. I know giveaways are still a thing because I still get the email every day. Maybe it's just not on the merch shirts anymore. You gotta pick up the um, pick the make sure you pick a, a color or a, a size the, first. Yeah, I picked the size. I picked the color. Let me pick a different color. Uh, you don't have to add it to the cart though, right? No. No. No, it should just be down at the bottom. Yeah, maybe. I don't see it. Mm -mm. Maybe it's not for shirts anymore. Maybe not. Okay, it never worked. <laughs> <laughs> Just cost me a shirt. Yeah, I don't see it. Let me look on another just you know, like a hat. Let's see if it's on there. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Mm -mm, I don't see it. Maybe it became more of a headache than it was worth. Maybe so. Well, giveaways are still a thing because, like I said, I still get the email telling me about all the giveaways every morning. Okay, well, let me look at a. Merch. Pillow or something. I don't know. No telling. I don't know. Well, there was a new update. Merch came out with, uh, well, yesterday? Yeah. Or the day before? Yes. You want to tell them about it? It says uh, on March 7th, it's a clarification on our concept policy. We have created guideline 2 6 promotion of violence. Let me see what it says 2 6. Uh, 2.6. Um, oh, they added promotion of violence, designs that promote violence, glorify violence, or attempt to incite violence through cru cruelty, death, or torture against an individual or group of individuals. Content de depicting or, or encouraging mass murder and suicide are not acceptable. See also human trage tragedy policy. So, yeah, that was a new one. I guess a lot of them were coming out with maybe since the school shooting. Maybe they were saying stuff about that. Maybe about guns. I'm not for sure. So that's only that's the only ones I could think of that were why people were yeah. doing putting up a lot of those shirts. Probably so. I wonder if my giant meteor shirt falls into that where it says "Make the world molten and start over." I don't know. Maybe violence against something. To me, it's just like some of it's <clears throat> so obvious not to do. You know, so it was kind of surprising some of the. Things they were say, saying, you cannot do this, means yeah, somebody I mean, was doing it. Who would do a yeah. shirt inciting violence and mass murder? I mean. Well, there's people out there that are trying to make them bunny, money on anything. So. It seems to fall under the hate category. That yeah. already he, here's the thing. I, I think uh, somebody put out a shirt and it just said, it said like bleeding green, like for St. Patrick's Day or something. I bleed green, and that, and then also in the title had like St. Patrick's Day in Irish, and they got flagged for this for this thing. Really? Okay. And just because it said bleed over here, and then later on it said Irish, I don't know if it meant. I don't know. Oh wow! Yeah, so just because you have words, not the same sentence, but words in there, you know, they can, they get, they're getting tagged or something, or picked up or something. So yeah, <sighs> just gotta be careful. Yeah, really. <clears throat> and real quick, I want to say hey, thanks to Deborah Blaylock for the super chat. Two dollars. She says, "I'm glad I found your channel. My second live stream. Yay!" Yay. No, Jeff, Yay. not this time. She says, "Glad I found your channel. Not I'm so glad to see Jeff too." No kidding. <laughs> what? Are you scared of me? You always want your cut. You're like <laughs> seven cents. I don't need my seven cents <laughs> this time. I'm YouTube rich. We'll get your picture up in the goodwill too. Another thing I added since I'm at since I teared up to the two thousands here. Another thing 
I've been doing is, um, oh, I bought the Merch Lister Pro. So How do you like? I, I love that. Yeah. Johnny King, you know, he's from Oklahoma. So, um, yeah, he, I really enjoy that. You know, I can just, if I'm going to make, you know, shirts of the same kind, I'll just go in there. Or even just the three or four, you know, of the same thing or around the same thing. Because you can just push a button and they'll, they'll, it'll come up and then you can just change it. Change what you need to change in each listing, but if you want to keep some of it the same, the majority of the same, and just change different things out, it's really simple. So I love it. Yeah, yeah me too. And I, he's not, you know, he's not giving me any promotions or anything. Yeah, yeah But just like just the color chooser, you know, because I'll do like black one, black two, like a, a image. yeah. The light color one, light color. So it fills in the colors too. So yeah, you could pick a, your own color profiles and what colors you want. Yeah, I love that too. Oh, yeah, it's it's a time saver. It saves a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, how much is it? I think it was like thirty nine or something or twenty nine. But you could he gets uh, all the he's about to do a big update on it. So oh, cool. Yeah, so I I thought it was worth it. It's worth it to me. American Yesterday had a question earlier. She said, for those of you who subscribe to Adobe CC, can we use the type kit fonts commercially? Is the license covered by the Adobe CC subscription? Good question, Jeff. I'm not positive. I know the fonts that come with Photoshop and Illustrator are commercial, but type kit is an add-on, so I don't know. Yeah, you might have to check. Let's see here. Google fonts, because Google fonts are commercial. It must have a thing in there where it says if they're commercial or not. You say uh, Google fonts are you can use for commercial? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. I'm almost 99% positive. I'll, I'll look up this type kit thing, see if I can find anything. But that's why I just, because I, I bought a font manager that, it will show you every Google font, and then when, if you want to use one, you just click it, and it brings it into your program for you. And uh, yeah, it's commercial. Uh, Riff and Resources, the merch is going to be nothing but unicorns and rainbow shirts pretty soon. Yeah, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And cats, don't forget cats. Cats, cats. Oh, look who's here. Look what the cat dragged in. That's right. That's You're right. Like, you don't get any super chat money. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I'm not Jeff. I'm not going to complain about that. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> How you doing, everyone? Good, good. How are you? Doing good. good. I had to work to like three or four in the morning last night. For those that don't know, I work nights, and so it's hard to get up sometimes, and I slept through an alarm, so I apologize. But I'm here now. Just be truthful. You were staying up late counting all your Bitcoin cash. No, <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, you don't really count that. You just you just look at your phone and it's there. You can see. Uh, <laughs> see what's from, the fun that? I'm gonna count it and dive in it. From looking at this like help Adobe thing, it looks like you. They are. I mean, you should check yourself. But from from my reading, it looks like they can be used for commercial use. We yeah. had a question Chris about knowing if type kit fonts for Adobe CC can be used um, commercially. Because it says, can I modify the look of the font, use it for commercial uses, or can I use synced fonts for commercial projects? It says, yes, yes, you can create digital designs or print work for your own use or for client purposes. So, yeah. I think so. uh, you, you should check it out yourself. I mean, yeah, I would say go ahead and check it out. Read it. It's help Adobe, you know, licensing, and it'll tell you. When, don't assume everything Adobe is that way. So read everything. Yeah, may, you got to read it. Make sure you read it yourself. Because they have like when you do the subscription, they have a built-in stock yeah. photo and graphic tool. And those are you know you have to buy them and buy commercial licenses. Yeah. And all that good stuff. I hate this decal. That's got to be the most annoying part about decals is removing all the stuff around it. Yeah, and normally it's not that bad, but this is a, um, I mean, it's a Sugar Skull Stormtrooper. There's That's a lot cool. of small pieces, and when they do order them small, it's just a pain in the butt. All the little tiny white dots on there, I can only see that. Oh, that's a large one, too. Wow. 
Oh, that's six inches. Yeah, it's. They're just not going to get that white dot. Leave it off. <laughs> anyway. Uh, well, a lot of tear ups have happened. I, I saw people saying they were getting teared up. Did you guys get teared up again? No, I no. I'm nowhere near the eighty percent. Put put in the chat what tier you're on because we've got like sixty viewers. I'm on the four thousand tier. What tier are you guys on now? I'm on two thousand. I'm on two thousand and I got about twelve hundred live. Yeah, I'm about one thousand and I'm pretty far from being tiered up to two thousand. Yeah, you guys are gonna catch up. I'm so excited. <laughs> I need about a hundred and um fifteen more cells to get to have two thousand cells and then I could probably tier up to um four thousand. So Yeah, I got the sales this week. I passed two thousand sales. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. That's awesome. I'm only at uh I think nine hundred and fifty shirts live. I mean, I, I just just catching up with uh, all the ninety day removals. So when I reload those, I make I reload them up as everything, you know, hoodies, sweatshirts, and that's what's been moving me up. But I've only done like one or two new shirts in the past week or two. Yeah, I need to get some other. I haven't been uploading. I've been so busy. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the story of my life too. Like I do this part time, and it's really hard to just focus on. So I got so many fingers in the pies, man. It's it's out of control. Hey, I like that hat, man. Oh, thanks. This is actually a printful hat. One oh, the, cool. Yeah, I bought I bought one. Uh, I created this one for D tube and all that kind of stuff, and was just to see what the. I did a video on the actually thing too, but I the. What's that? I watched it. I oh. watched your unboxing. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, actually, it's the Printful has really great quality embroidery. I mean, there's a couple of little things that are wrong, but it's it's pretty damn near perfect. Wow, I like it. Yeah, I'm going to check that out. Now, DTube's one of those Bitcoin YouTube sites, right? It's a decentralized video sharing service that runs off of the Steam blockchain. Yeah, so pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be the new thing. You're going to hear a lot about DTube in the next uh, year. Oh, I would say. My question was... Is it open source that you can use the logo and commercially like that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's... No, no, no. Actually, no, 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 no. It's you cannot use the logo. Do not. No one use the logo. It's not. You're not allowed to use a logo. Only, only I'm use, allowed to use a logo. <laughs> you got permission, okay. Right? <laughs> All right. Get that. Everyone got that. Me. Oh, you're just trying to. Okay. I, <laughs> you're just trying to corner the market. <laughs> yeah, I'm just. I I'm just wanted to point it out to people out there. You know. You have to make sure it's commercially viable or get permission or whatever. Yeah, the 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 creator of DTube let people go crazy with the logo. So yeah. So this decal you're doing is what again? <laughs> I was just gonna say that, but I didn't it's say it. parody. It's parody. It's free. Oh. So if somebody sticks a mustache on my picture for Goodwill, it's a parody. And it's okay. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. There we go. <laughs> No, that was something different. That's modifying a actual photo. They couldn't do that. No, but but Printful makes really great hats. So if anyone's looking into like you know doing something else other than shirts, uh, definitely look into Printful. I think Margaret has some links below for her affiliate link. So definitely check those out. And uh, definitely look. At, I mean, Printful is amazing. I don't know if I talked about this last week, but I had a problem with the onesie, and they like replaced it in less than two minutes. Yeah, you're good at customer service. <laughs> yeah. The lady that ordered the lady we talked about. I think it was last week. Mm -hmm. she ordered the. She was like, I need these onesies, and so I real quick made them. She bought three, and then she got them, and she sent me a message saying, you know, how she, how much she loved them, and like it was awesome. And then I yeah. posted in the group, and somebody was like. Cause the long sleeve one, I, I, it's twenty five bucks, and she bought three of them. And they were like, "Don't you think that's kind of high?" I was like, "They're mine." I'm yeah, twenty five. I, I saw that. I think I'm gonna put some long sleeves up. I've been doing the short. Yeah, I, I was at the museum yesterday, and I thought, you know what? Let me look and see what the onesies are here, because they had some little science onesies. And for a short sleeve one, it was fourteen ninety five. Yeah, there's people there's people with money. Don't sell yourself short. I mean, price however you feel comfortable with because for one, there's people out there with money and there and in this the whole spectrum of things. I've sold stuff that I was just like how how do I get this much money for this? But yeah. And if you're buying a gift for somebody cuz cuz when we when our guys were little, um Randy's brothers don't have kids. And so they were buying really fun onesies like Randy MC and the Ramones and 
they were spending money because they were like, I'm buying a $20 onesie. It's a gift for my nephew. You know, they're not going to go probably a, a new mom maybe that is on the budget. is not going to spend $20 for every single onesie, but you know. Now we got to point out to everybody, do not use the word onesie anywhere on your listing. <laughs> Because that is a trademarked word brand by Gerber or whoever. That's crazy. I even, I did put one up on eBay and I used the onesie and I got zeroed. Yeah, uh, eBay's eBay's the the tough one. I mean Etsy lets it slide, but you're 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 trample you're kind of stomping on. It's a line. Yeah, both it's a line. Them, they have to the both of them they have to be reported. I mean, you can do it. It's not like Amazon where they're going to filter you out. But on eBay, they have people, Gerber sits there and looks for the word onesie. And if, mm. you, and if you notice that, if you go to Printful, they don't use the word onesie. Um, I think they use it they say in like the back jump end. Jump to or something, right? But it's nowhere in the publication is the word onesie used. Which sucks because everyone uses the word onesie. It's like Velcro, or Xerox, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm like a, I to put in jumper or romper, and no one searches for that. <laughs> in the UK, jumper is something else. I mean, I, I had a website called Cool Baby Onesies up for many years, and can you use that? I put it in the comments. Can you use that? Use what? What I put in the comments. Look. <laughs> yeah, you can use one piece of ice. Is, 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 yeah. Yeah, you probably could get away with that. But my site never got flagged, but sales just declined from my site and traffic. So I just gave up the domain name um, this last week and closed the site down. Oh, and if you're watching this later, too, the, YouTube's doing a new thing now where you can click see over, chat. see the chat. I, can't, I don't know what side it's on, but. Where you can go and see the chat as it's happening with us. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> What's going on with chat? The chat's yeah. going to be on all the videos now. Oh, no kidding. On the back end, you can see it? Yeah. yeah. No, in, well, on the front end, once you repost it, and you know, the replays. Yeah. Yeah, it says any, all your comments, it saves them all. It's like watching um, Facebook watching it live, live yeah. replays. Oh, that's oh, cool. The comments oh, wow. will go in real time with the video. About time. I mean, YouTube's like a billion dollar <laughs> business. You'd think they'd have yeah. done that a million years ago. Oh, real quick though, um, just a re just a real cool like kind of thing for. Or actually, two things. This is kind of off topic, like pretty crazily. Um, I work in the the movie industry or whatever, but uh, Star Wars: The Last Jedi has some really cool deleted scenes. So when the DVD comes out, check that out. But I want to say, speaking about YouTube, uh, there's a YouTube Red series coming out for the Karate Kid. I guess there's like a new Karate Kid. Oh yeah, yeah, I heard about that. It's it's really good. So I think YouTube's got a uh, their first like real uh, kind of TV show hit that's coming out. So definitely. When does check that come out. out? I, I think it comes out in the summer, but I'm not completely sure. Oh yeah, I heard about that. So yeah, it's it's really good. It's really good. So I definitely suggest people if, who was in the, anyone who was in the Karate Kid, yes. definitely check that out. It's really good. I love Karate Kid. I forgot Jessica Jones comes out today too. What's that? Wait, what? Who? Season two of Jessica Jones. She's a it's a Marvel comic book. Oh, that's right. Uh, so uh, Sorry. What was that? Speaking of Marvel. Oh, hmm. Black Panther last night. You probably just lost all your uh, advertising on this, on this video because we mentioned all these <laughs> things. What? No, 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 it doesn't work that way. It would, we would lose it more for us to keep talking about front ends and back ends. No, if we talked about how much we love Trump or something like that, then they would demonetize her. <laughs> <laughs> what a great job he's doing. <laughs> then, then the demonetization happens. <laughs> You're ruining my reputation. <laughs> Man, I, that whole thing with the whole review for demonetization, the whole when you get the little yellow money sign and then you do the review, like I've cussed in some of those videos and they still, it's like the algorithm's so crazy with YouTube. YouTube's been, there's been a lot of people hating on YouTube lately. Well, especially the people with only 500 or 600 subscribers March 1st. Yeah, that's going to be rough. I have a bunch of friends in the aquaponics world that, you know, only had, you know, five, 700 subscribers and 
they lost their revenue stream March 1st. There, there's, there, there's two ways I look at that. And, and this happened to me too when I first started the Thrift Shop Hustler channel is that they did this thing where I had to have, uh, I think it was 10,000 views before I got paid. They did this right in the middle of my whole thing too. And I, and I look at it this way. There's two ways. And you, this could actually relate to merch too. And I'll, and I'll parallel to merch. So there's two trains of thoughts here. When, when something happens to you, you either rise above the bullshit or you lay down and you die. So here's a perfect example where if someone's has a channel and this is happening, you create more content, you create better content. You look for different ways to get people to your channel. You look different ways for people to look at your shirts. You create more shirts. You think of better designs. That's what I'm saying. So like, don't life is going to be full of people trying to screw you over. That's another pro tip for any teenager out there that's listening. Life is not roses and sunshine and gumdrops. You're going to go through weeks, days, months of just people trying to throw you under the bus and ruin your life. Once you what realize you that it's up to yeah. you and your mentality to kind of rise above that or fall victim to everything, that's yes. just what I'm saying is don't don't fall victim. Be stronger than that. We're we're humans. We we got lots of potential inside of us. What is the new thing to get monet monetized or what's their new rule that just came out? You have to have a thousand subscribers. And so much watch time too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have a thousand subscribers, but I don't have it. There's something I don't have. Maybe the watch time. Yeah, it's either views or watch time. Or it's I I think it's watch time. I want to say it's like a hundred thousand hours or something ridiculous like that. It's a lot. My yeah. home channel is not nearly there. I have like two hundred and thirty subscribers on my homeschool channel, and oh well, you know, whatever. I think it's two thousand hours. Let me check it. Okay, Crafty Joyce has four thousand hours of watch time, which is a lot if you just have a small channel. It's it's hard to do. But I mean, it's I mean, I'm a firm believer in what you focus on expands. You know, if you're like, if I spend my time working on merch, then that, I'm going to see that that part of my business blossom. If I spend my time working on YouTube, I'm going to start seeing growth and things happening there. So just wherever you're choosing to spend your time and focus your energy, and um, yeah, so. If you're just like doing something like on my on my homeschool channel, I know I'm not getting there. Well, here's why: because I'm not focusing on it. I'm not creating new content. I put up a video like a week and a half ago. I can't sit here going, "Why isn't anybody watching it?" You know, or I can't just throw up a shirt and be like, "Oh, nobody's buying it." Look at you. you know? Four thousand hours. Or yeah, crazy. Just gotta keep looking for, you know, to tie it into merch. Just you got to keep trying to find new ways, look at your design, look, you know, research, learn. Great. Yeah. When I, when I was focusing on like, I would literally say 80% of my reselling stuff on merch. And this was maybe in uh, November and December before the big uh, algorithm swap, when things were really getting better, I was really focusing on merch and I was doing well. So what Margaret's saying to your, to reiterate is definitely, you know, what you put your time into. And if you're doing quality work is going to show success, not may not maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next week, but if you keep going forward, you know, you're going to see success. Yeah. I was telling, I was trying to, I was telling Randy, it's like, it's like front load. You got to front load your success. You know what I mean? Like it, any kind of like entrepreneurial type thing, you know, you may not see the rewards immediately, but you have to have faith that the, the hard work you're putting in, you eventually you will see the, the outcome of it. And just to add to that real quick is like, you know, we live in this uh, instant gratification society and I feel really sad and I feel really sorry for the, the generation that's coming up right now, like my son's generation, because we're so used to everything like, you know, oh, put toast in the toaster. You got toast in a minute, you know, like, oh, you know, like I got I made a video and now I got a thousand likes and everyone's got this boom, boom, boom mentality when old school people like us have who've been through the shit know that like that's not how it is. Right. You know, you gotta, you, you definitely gotta, you gotta be tough and you gotta put your focus into whatever you're doing. Know that it's not going to be the next day that you're going to be successful. It's going to be a year from now. Oh my gosh. That just reminds me. We, my, my son got a, a rock tumbler for Christmas. Oh, those are cool. He was going to be able to put these rocks in and like an hour later, he was going to have these polished <laughs> rocks. And it's a, like, it's been two and a half. No, it's been, it's been over a month now. And that thing's still not done with the first set. So we were just like, look, there's these different steps you got to do. The first part's two weeks. The next part's a week. The next wow. part's five days. You know, and it's just like, what? 
You want to hear the weirdest thing? And I, and I hate to interrupt you. You want to hear the weirdest thing? Mm -hmm. I was just thinking about rock tumblers the other day. And I was wondering in my back of my mind, I go through some weird thought processes during the day. I was like, I wonder how long it takes for the rocks to smooth out. Do you know how? So you're saying it takes like two months to do? Well, ours are because we keep forgetting to do the next step. So they've been tumbling for like two weeks. Oh, I was like, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's so. But yeah, it's like a month, a month or so. Yeah. So, I wonder how many rock tumbling shirts there are up there. That has to be a hobby. Shh. You, should cornered, you should have cornered that market first and then said something. <laughs> I'm going to put up 100 rock designs tonight. There's only 70 viewers. I think we'll, we'll be okay. I've got 4,000 slots. I will denominate the rock tumbling market. <laughs> so in the pod world, Printful um, released, I don't know if, you guys saw the video where I talked about, I beta tested their swimsuits, but they released the swimsuits to the public now, and you can push them to your stores like Etsy or whatever. Can you? And I, and I already had my first swimsuit sale. That's exciting. Nice. Oh, nice. So, yeah, they're one pieces and bikinis. So I can put them up now? Yeah, you can push them. And they also released publicly um, yoga shorts, all over print yoga shorts. So I can have a trilo butt on the butt swimsuit. Yeah, you can have whatever you want there. <laughs> That's what my daughter was asking me. You know, came in and go, oh, so you can make my swimsuit for PE? I need a black swimsuit. I'm going, um, <laughs> the price does not work out. You're paying for printing something on this, not just for a black swimsuit. Go <laughs> print and get you a black swimsuit. That's exciting. Yes. <gasps> so yeah, I got a bunch. I have about eight swimsuits up there. And I've been putting more and more. And I've just been using my legging all over pattern. And that's what's sold. I have one that's unicorn, clouds, and stars. Because you have a video on how to do the all over print for the leggings. Would the same yeah. process work for the swimsuits? Yeah. If, so you just make, if you just make a large square, if you're just doing a pattern, yeah, just make a big, large, square pattern. Don't watch my video because there's an easier way to do it, I found out. We'll do another um, video. Yeah, but that square, if you make it large enough, you can use that same file for leggings, for swimsuits, for the yoga shorts, for shirts if you want to. There's a there's a duplicator tool too. So if you have a little logo and you duplicate it, you can make a patchwork thing in Printful where right. it'll make like a bunch of patterns. There's a pattern tool in Illustrator. And I, yeah, I, I need to make a video on it, but it's really easy. You just take your image and then you go up and do pattern and it does the pattern for you you know and you can specify how many times it's going to repeat or whatever and then you save it as a swatch so basically then what you do is you just make a big square and then click your swatch and it just puts the pattern on it on there so will it turn them all which way you want to or do you have a choice you have to, you have to turn them if you're going to take um your image there so you you would go ahead and turn it the different ways you want it to form a square and then that square becomes the sw pattern swatch. Uh, and then it will fill up whatever shape you create. You gotta make a video. I'm excited. It's like clicking a swatch of color. So if you you had this bucket or square cloud or, or cloud or something, and you click the color red and it makes the whole thing red. So instead you click the pattern swatch and it fills your whole cloud with that pattern. So yeah, it's, it's really cool. Um, I'm gonna say this and it's, not the correct way, but like on free pick, you can do a search on free pick for patterns. And the problem with free pick is when you use their image, they say you cannot use it as the main image in your design. Well, a pattern to me is meant to be the main subject. So I, I kind of ignore that rule for patterns, but you can go to places like uh, creative market and buy the pattern. So you don't have that rule hanging over you so yeah you can, well, gra graphic story blocks has patterns and stuff too yeah as long as they're up, up you know it you have to make sure it's a i forget the word seamless or you got to make sure when it when you bring in an illustrator and use it as a pattern swatch that you know you're not going to get lines or every square it's going to be a seamless pattern fill um because some people throw up what they call patterns up there and they're not a true pattern so 
but yeah, it's it's a quick, easy way to do all over shirts or all, all I do is to use the square tool and make a big square and then fill it with the pattern I want and then save it out as a uh, 300 DPI. And you can use that for so many printful products without having to do any changing. Yeah, sorry, I might have read that. That's so but cool. yeah, it's a cool product. Okay, well, my ideas now. Yeah, I love a lot of. Um, and what's the other one? They're, they still have the backpacks in beta. Um, they're not released, but they're they have all over print backpacks in you beta right now. You shared recently they put the arm sleeve things too. Yeah, you can now print on. I think it's a two. No, it's a four inch. I think four inch square. You can put on either sleeve. It's two ninety five each sleeve, and it's on most of the short sleeves. So like the the common uh unisex bella 3001 you can put something on the sleeves now i want something on the long sleeves i hope they do that next because that oh, yeah. would be a big market i'm looking at swimwear you're right man we can those are unlocked now cool i'm excited i'm excited okay there are some questions in the chat we are kind of far back but um Adam earlier on said, so how to sell the first shirt? I really need help. What would be your advice to sell the a first shirt? It, <laughs> there's no advice. I mean, it's hard to one to answer actually. You can, you can do paid advertising on Facebook or Instagram and all that, which rarely works. You can just do free social shares. Um, if you really want to, Sell, look for a place locally. We've all mentioned this before. Find a group locally that might need t shirts and offer to make them at cost. And then you can, you know, get a bunch sold real quick. Yeah. There's just so many things you can or. Yeah. You know what I did actually today? Um, I put a listing in like the Facebook marketplace, like locally, and just said, hey, you know, I, I can make these shirts or whatever. I just put up a little ad. So. I've done that. Um, in fact, I just renewed mine last couple of days ago. I have a, I made a little graphic that is for my website, but it basically shows the t-shirts and other yeah. things I do. And I posted it into 10 different marketplaces. Yeah. yeah I, I've shared specific shirts, but I hadn't thought of doing that because that would be easy way for like a sports team locally to get a shirt without having to pay out. And you can add, I think, on Facebook, you can add like nine pic nine pictures. So I just added like nine pictures of different yeah. different ideas. You know, pretty much. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this works for the general populace, but because you have to have a YouTube channel that's somewhat popular. But I uh, made this shirt for my aquaponics, and I put it on my aquaponic video as a link to it. Um, and I'm actually going to approach a couple of the big you know, the big uh, stars in the aquaponic world and say, what's your size? I'll send you to this shirt free if you, uh, you know, wear it a couple of times and maybe promote it for me a couple of times and that can work. You know, find a, find a YouTube star that will do that for you. Yeah, it's called, the keyword's called influence influencer marketing. That's what it is. That's what you're One talking about. One of the guys about. is in Australia. That's going to cost me an arm or leg. <clears throat> it's like the 20 biggest, bucks. The biggest guy in aquaponics is, uh, you know, Australia. Yeah, I've been doing that whole uh, YouTube link shirt thing forever, 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 and I've seen some some success from that. So it's a good idea. They they have a website or a program where you can actually apply. I think I I think Margaret's done it before. A oh, fame bit. Yeah, that was it. Fame bit. I mean, that's a way to pay for. But I mean, you can approach people on your own and just say, "Hey, I have this T-shirt. I'd like to send you free." If you would wear it on one of your shows and let people know where you got it. Joe, didn't you do some influencer marketing before? You know what? I was working on that and um, through FameBit. Yeah. And those people, man, they kind of like uh, didn't really come through for me. Like, I don't know. It was, it was a lot of trouble. They were a lot of trouble to work with. So I just got out of it. Mm. I just got a refund from FameBit. And their stuff. So I even paid them too. So I just got a refund. I was like, man, these guys are. I mean, it was it was like. The people who wanted to work with me, they really weren't. I mean, like, it's pretty much they're just saying, okay, we'll promote your shirt. But none of them really had to do with the niche that I was in. And so 
it's kind it's of like, like you know just random people you know so yeah you might have a shirt about baseball but people are coming at you about baking and swimming and you know family stuff and you're like what this is how is that gonna sell you know so. there's also um with amazon i there's a site i used to do a lot of review promotions on my blog and videos and there's a site called thomason where you put up your product and people apply to you know do a review on it basically for the free product and i think amazon was clamping down on that for um recently so i don't know how i haven't done it in a while so i don't know if that's still what's that thing called it. it's thomason i get an email from him every day it's ten, tom o son what do they do it's a uh it's for content creators and it's also for people that want to get oh, their right. stuff reviewed and promoted um and i used to go there and apply for a bunch of i mean i used to get vitamins from that that site um i'm still using the the usb charger multi-port that i reviewed um so i got i did it because i got a lot of free stuff out of it you know and i applied for stuff i would actually use and you do a, a video review or you do a blog review you know, if you go to my blog, you'll see a lot of old reviews on there. <laughs> and I, I need to get back into it because, like I said, it was good for getting some free stuff. Oh, that I yeah, used. that was fun. I actually had – I actually have – I used to have Hallmark and a bunch of other major companies send me stuff like that. Not through that thing, but right. through, my, through my other stuff, yeah. Yeah, it, and this website just kind of made it easier to find stuff and for content or for product creators to find people to review their stuff. Um, and it's not just Amazon reviews. I think Amazon did clamp down on that, but it's doing just basically public reviews of your product and saying this is where you can find it and stuff like that. There's there's like literally hundreds of different ways to promote your shirt, stuff that people ha aren't even thinking of too. So, I mean, for those that are like, oh, I designed a shirt and put it up and it hasn't sold. Oh, I must be doing something wrong. You know, like that's, you You gotta, it's, we live in this age with merch by Amazon where that might've worked a year or two ago, but it's not working today because there's so many more people competing for that spot. Yeah, that's the wrong attitude to have right now. You just gotta, you gotta work it. It's not like, like I said, uh, throwing a shirt up and expecting it to sell in a week. You know, there's 10 million, 15 million shirts up there. You know, and unless you have <laughs> a lot more than that, it's like yeah. 90 million or something crazy. What? Yeah. Uh, somebody's talking about Thomas and the free products and more. It's not, um, I kind of misspoke. It's not just for Amazon reviews, it's more for content creators, you know, YouTube personalities and bloggers to do reviews on products. And like you said, um, a lot of stuff isn't free anymore. A lot of stuff they give you at a discount, but um, there's still free stuff out there, especially in the vitamin world. <laughs> I was I kind of weird. I'm going to take these vitamins. I don't know where they came from and do a review on. Yeah, no, no. I still have jars of vitamins I stopped taking because, yeah. <laughs> But like I said, I still have, I got a, a charger that had like 10 or five uh, USB ports for charging the devices. And I still have it next to my bed and use that. And I used to get camera equipment for free and I know this is not merch related. Moving on. Nick Eden actually had a good idea about the class reunion thing. He said he sold 20 shirts for to a class reunion for a 10 year reunion. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. A local need. People I need because if you you know if you do like a little Facebook ad in your area for because it could be for a sports team like a bachelor party whatever you know hundreds of ideas hundreds yeah, if not thousands I mean I always thought like who buys these birthday shirts right who's but we were at <laughs> in this because we were at a jump place and a whole crew of kids were all wearing the same like Justin's birthday party shirt or party crew or whatever it was i was like really okay i guess people really do buy these shirts because if you're in one of these crazy party places then you can spot all of your people in one you know yeah yeah i used to go to disneyland a lot and that was the thing too is like joe was saying with his uh what is it here family cruise kind of things like oh yeah yeah there's a lot of demand for those family shirts like that yeah i sold a bunch of uh uh, right. Spring break cruise shirts this week. So, or like field trip, you know, even if it's just like 
Yep. <laughs> What's your pulse? I want to go back to uh, Mr. Bitcoin's hat real quick. I have a question. <laughs> yeah, so I was, uh, I, I've been meaning to ask or look into, because I know with an embroidery, you have to have an embroidery pattern created. Yes. Did yes. you have to pay for that? So here, here's how... So here's how that works. So when you get it, when you design a hat, um, I think they give you like up to three colors or it's two colors or something like that for free as far as like just the embroidering. But when you, when a hat is created, when someone buys a hat, you have to pay a 895 fee, a one-time fee, setup fee for your design. And then, what, <clears throat> and then once you pay that, it's, it's only a one-time fee and then you can order as many hats. So for anyone out there, if you're, if you're going to sell a hat, your first hat is going to be deducted eight ninety five for the setup for the embroidering. Okay. And so you don't pay that up front. No, it's, it's done after the first sale, which is good. It's, yeah. So like eight ninety five, you're going to get deducted off of your first sale to set yeah. up that, but it's good forever. So don't delete. So when you go to Printful and you have all your little files and everything, you'll see a little icon in the bottom of uh for the embroidery thing that you paid for if i think if you delete that that goes away so don't delete any embroideries that you've paid for yeah because you have i i know from other sites you have to have it and they can't take the graphic png and just magically embroider they have to create an embroider pattern for it so that's good info uh and on your don't delete thing i ran into something this week that, that had me panic um I mentioned earlier I had a site called Cool Baby Onesies, and the domain name expired, and I decided just to let it go because I wasn't making many sales there. And so I went into Printful, and I deleted that store. Well, the problem was I wasn't very organized with all my stores. I just load up files to whatever store, and that Cool Baby <laughs> Onesies store had a lot, I mean, a lot of my files for other stores and places. So I was in panic mode once I figured out what I did. And luckily, what I mean, they could not bring the store back. But luckily, if you go um, to file library, you know, the store name that is gone, but all your files are still there and you can have it moved to a existing store that you still have. Okay. So they're still there. So, yeah, don't delete a store until you've moved the files to another store. But they do have your back there that they're not gone forever. That's good to know. Because I was pooping <clears throat> bricks. Once, it took me two or three days. I just realized, because I went up there to load a shirt to Etsy. And I knew I had the file up there. And I went there, and I wasn't seeing, because I'm used to seeing the name of the stores. I'm going, something's missing here. Something's missing. And I couldn't find the file. And then I go, oh, crap. I deleted it. Oh, crap. So I sent off a quick email <laughs> to them going, oh, crap. And they came back saying, well, we, we can't reinstate the store, but your files are here, and you can move them to a existing store that is still functioning. And hopefully they're still synced up, because all the files I have synced up to different sites and stuff. I hope they're still synced, but worst case, I just sync them once the sale's made. So to reiterate for MRK report in the chat, yeah, so like it's just a one-time fee once you sell a hat. They charge you $8.95, and then every, every sale after that, that fee is no longer processed. But it shows in your little – it shows a little icon in your folder, <laughs> file folders that says that you paid for the setup. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so you're you you're only char you're you're charged once your first sale is made, and there's a one time fee for the pattern. Right. Right. And so you got to figure that you can't figure that really into the cost. Well, you can amortize over the cost of many shirts or many hats, but it's an overhead cost to have a pattern make. It's not going to be your your buyer is not going to pay that in their first hat. Right, and I paid it through i paid it myself when i did for those that don't know you get like i think i get like four sa sample orders a month now on printful i think if you're starting out you get two i'm not completely sure but definitely take advantage of that you get free shipping you get 20 percent off and i paid for yeah see i paid for this i paid for that 895 out of pocket but you know now i have a hat and i can use it for if people order in the future but definitely look into uh, ordering some of your products on printful just yeah, that's why I don't order my stuff through merch. I always do them on Printful because of the 20% off and the free shipping. And that's 20% off base price, not your retail price. I buy shirts every month. My my daughter came to me with a shirt idea, 
you know, I made it for her and got her a shirt. Now they want me to do shirts for her color guard or hoodies or something. Same here. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I hate to interrupt. I was just saying, I just had a thought and, and here's a pro tip for anyone. You know how like some, some places like Poshmark where you have to have your items in hand, you can use that free shipping and 20% off to order some of your popular designs, get them and then listen on Poshmark or list one on eBay just to see if it'll sell. You know, and you have a physical item in hand for something that you can see and it's just another source of income. Yeah. That pissed me off. I, I started setting up Poshmark until I figured out their shipping. I go, oh crap, this is not going to work. So I had to remove my. Yeah, Poshmark. that's that's the loophole to get to get through that. Is so you take so you buy some of your most popular shirts at the biggest discount you can get, and then you can list them there. Yeah, they changed their samples. It used to be, um, you can order five five per order, and it was like four orders a month. But they change it now because they're probably losing their not to be pun shirts off their backs with it. But I think it's uh like two to four items now and a couple times a month. And it depends yeah. on how many you're selling. If you're a big seller, they're gonna give you more samples. Right. They just teared me up. I think I think last month I had like only two sample orders a month and there was three items in the in, in each order. Yeah, you've been doing pretty good. It, the sales have been slower this month because of niche stuff, but you know, I'm still trying to figure out Printful. It's an amazing, it's an amazing service. Like I, I cannot, I have so much high praise for Printful. I just started uploading to Printful. Well, today really, and stuff. I mean, I uploaded a couple shirts before, but it's been a while, and so I had to ask Jeff a bunch of questions. <laughs> so. They have come a long way. I remember the first year I did them, and I was selling on Etsy back then. And um, before the integration and all that, they were slow. They were slow, and it was around Christmas time, and I was I had some panic orders because they were taking so long. And they've really improved that. They've they've built up their back end. I would I would say they're a lot better than Amazon. They they've improved so much, you know, that even during Christmas, their orders were out before seven days, usually in three or four days. Yeah. And then on Christmas time, they're kind of slowing down right now. I'm kind of pissed off at one order, but yeah, I have a couple orders that are lagging too. But it's, usually, it's like, I just kind of send them a you know, like a push email saying, "Hey, what's up with this?" And I'll get the canned response saying, "You know, five to seven days, da da da." But for some reason, they mirrors they start pushing, they start moving. So if they get to five days, I'll send that email. Okay. If you haven't signed up, even if you're not sure you're going to do it right now, definitely just go ahead and sign up. Get the get the Etsy free listings. They've been doing it for a while, so I don't know if and when they're going to stop offering those free listings. So even if you're like, oh, I'm not so sure I'm going to do it, get it. Just sign up and get it going. Like, click the links down below for 40 free listings, or there's my printful link and Jeff's printful link down there. No. Just get it in place. So even if you don't start immediately, it's ready, and you don't lose those 40 free listings. And I'm surprised by how many people sign up and don't do anything because mm -hmm. uh, it shows you, you know, I'm going to go to my page right here. I've had, um, I've had 1,700 clicks, 127 people sign up, but only 26 are active. So a lot of people sign up just to have it there, and then uh, – They'll get ready down the road. It's work. It's not easy. I like it. I mean, but it's yeah. I like get it set up, and then when you're ready, it's you don't you know you've got those forty free listings on Etsy, and you're good to go when you're ready for it. Yeah, they're making it. They're making it easier. The big thing for me, I wish they would do. I wish they do like Redbubble and T Public, where you upload your design once and you just click the different products you want. Yeah, and upload them all there. That would make it a little bit easier. I'm, but, petting, uh, I'm petting. I'm virtually petting Mango. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for this. I know we're probably missing people's questions in the chat, but I'll have to make sure next time to say put the question marks because I was trying to read through and see. And yeah. well, I'm just American yesteryear is saying is Preful ever going to bring their base prices down? Sometimes a deal breaker. I I don't agree with your last part of your statement because when you compare it to mer especially merch. Their prices are much. Their base prices are much lower. Um, they don't have the tra traffic as Amazon, 
but their base prices are much lower and they do lower prices. They just lowered the prices of mugs um, a couple weeks ago. It was only a dollar drop, but that's the third time they've dropped the prices on mugs. And I, I've been with them over three years now. So um, they do, whenever they get breaks and they, you know, long term breaks, they do drop prices. And the they royalties are juicy, man, and printful. Yeah. Dang. Mm -hmm. You see, <laughs> I would, I would, if I had criticism, I would wish the Gildan, the cheapo Gildan that is only eight something uh, base price. They only have three colors. I wish they would bring make more colors available. That could be a Gildan thing. I wish they had. Redbubble has like zipper pouches and journals. That's what I wish they would add on over there. Because I buy journals like nobody's business. I'll buy journals. <laughs> Huh? They have a blog or, or you know a forum thing where you can suggest products. So I would do that because they take your ideas and and do uh, and they come out with new products that we just discussed. Yeah, they're coming out with products all the time. Um, since I've been on board, they've come out with the, the yoga leggings. The and they just came out the shorts. All over print T-shirts was new. So every couple months they're coming out with new products. Yeah. So that's why I like them. Uh, I love them. And compared to Redbubble and stuff, and with Etsy and eBay as your platform, and now Amazon. Um, yeah, you have no excuse not to make money here, people. Yeah. We have no excuse at all. I mean, <laughs> somebody just spent $75 to buy three baby onesies for me. So they're, the people are there to, to spend the it's money. Just, yeah, it's just the time to do it, everything, because there are so many products. And it costs 20 cents per. I wish they would go to free listings. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> Etsy, because, yeah, because it's that's what that's what holds me back sometimes because I know it's only 20 cents, but when you're doing one design and you're uploading that on 10 to 20 products, you know, that's a couple bucks. You share out the link because anybody can. I share mine, but anybody can. Oh, I share mine, but I haven't. Oh, yeah. I think, Margaret, when you told me to share mine like a long time ago, like I think when I look on there now and Etsy, I have like. 400 free listings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, need, I need to start listing, you know. Those don't expire? You can just they don't do that. Expire, oh, yeah. I have, I'm not even going to say it's an obscene number. I'm sure it is. She has like 2,000. But I'm, I'm, I'm getting over that and I'm listing anyway, <laughs> but it, it is time. But it's everything is time. That, that's um, the thing that I don't like about Printful is that you have to list individual items on Etsy where Redbubble, you just modify the different graphics on each product and it's all ready to go. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's the one, my one big wish on Printful. But they're working towards it, I think. I mean, they just came out with the, uh, some people don't like it, uh, the way they, you add products now, they, you know, men's shirts or women's shirts, and I like it. Okay, how about this? How about this? For the Etsy thing, to help people get more Etsy. I've got plenty of Etsy free listings. Is that what we, we can do is on Merch Talk, the first person to comment with, their Etsy promotion code. You can find it by clicking on, you can find it. <laughs> you have to find it. I'm not going to do that for you. Okay. Like then I'll share it in that video. So like this video, it'll be like in the line instead of my, my Etsy 43 listings, I'll put yours in there. So if anybody clicks it, you can get 43 listings. We can do that. Every day. I don't care. Hey, I just remember I'm wearing my merch sock shirt. <laughs> 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 I totally yeah. forgot. I think we have the shirt thing down there too. That's a good shirt. Stickers would be a good thing for Printful. <laughs> yeah, I've sold I sold more more stickers on Redbubble than shirts so far. You got to think um, of infrastructure though. Um, they already have the machines to do T-shirts, and that can be done on hoodies. You know, all different, and they all over printing can be done on. It's maybe a slightly different machine. Uh, stickers is a whole nother machine. So when they branch out that way, they have to, you know, it's a big infrastructure, but I think they'll do it. It's just a matter of when. Here's how I figured out, like, I, I do more sticker designs for Redbubble because when I was doing my Redbubble research, when you when you search Google or when you search uh, YouTube for Redbubble, all the videos are like, oh, check out my unboxing of my stickers. Look at all my stickers <laughs> on my laptop. Like, oh, yeah. So, like, <laughs> that's how I knew, like, okay, Redbubble, I got to focus on girly stickers and that kind of, like, uh, meta or whatever. And it's been working, so. I need to do a printful unboxing. I keep forgetting to do that every time I order. There you go. 
I'm gonna do one for my. I got DTube shirts coming. I got the 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 Gildens and then the Premium. So I was gonna do a comparing of the two. I love this is a Bella Canvas and I love it. It's so soft. Yeah, Bella Canvas is good. Is a good shirt. You see my <laughs> You're rubbing it on your beard, like you can feel that. Do you have like I, extra feelers in your beard? My beard feels everything. Oh my gosh! Do you, do you, have, I said do you have tattoos oh underneath, Jeff? Uh, no, just the arm, the sleeve, the sleeves. The okay. sleeves. <laughs> I'm working on a back piece. I want to get done. But yeah, I, I love that. My daughter, she got a women's cut um, introvert shirt I made for her. She loves that, and she's gotten fun. I will give a slightly un what do you want to say it? unfavorable review of their phone cases. They don't last a whole well with teenagers. They don't last a long time. She's right. gone through two of them. Yeah, the red Here's bubble. The bubble. Like, yeah, mine's red bubble, so that's a good one. Yeah, the, the print folds are clear sides. It's a little bit thinner, and at least with the teenager. She's been through two of them already. See, I don't think anyone's created a great high quality case yet in any POD. They're all kind of like, uh, you know. This is I like. I mean, it feels like it's I don't know. Cheap but I'm plastic. <laughs> it feels like cheap plastic. Well, what is it gonna be like titanium? Well, it no, has... just, that's what I'm saying. Like they haven't figured out how to make print printed like silicone ones or anything high quality. It's no. all cheap plastic, ABS plastic. Um, Ellis was asking about any upfront costs aside from the upload 20 cent fee. Um, let's clarify that 20 cent fee is an Etsy thing. So if you're selling through Printful on Etsy, you're going to pay that 20 cent fee. Right. There is no upfront cost on Printful. So if you have your own website, there would be no upside, uh, no upfront cost. But like with, if you're going to sell them on eBay, there's their upfront cost or uh, listing fee. If you're going to sell on Amazon, you're going to pay the $40 a month for your pro fee, but nothing beyond that. Well, I got to get going, y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. We're a little over. You get a Starbucks. They're going to miss me. Yeah. Late. Go, go over there, y'all, and hit the subscribe and the thumbs up button. Yes, y'all. Go subscribe to Merch University, Thrift Shop Hustler, and I guess if you want to go find Jeff Davidson out there. <laughs> yeah, and real, real quick, last week I was almost to four thousand subscribers. So our 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 watchers or our your subscribers to help me get over that four thousand. So thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I do. Me too. And I'll do a giveaway at my next. I don't know if four thousand's next or five thousand next, but I'll do a giveaway. Yay! And then I mean it. Like whoever will comment first after the video is over in the comment section with their Etsy forty three listings, I'll put it in there so that. You know, you go do that. And I can do it every week. It'll be fun. That thing's hard to find, so you better start now. <laughs> How many subscribers do I have? <laughs> oh, I, hey, I'm only at 3,986. Oh, you're close. So, yeah, if I get to 4,000, I'll do, I'll do a T-shirt giveaway. or I'll go a, a giveaway of any free item on my website. You know, be it a T-shirt or a decal or whatever somebody wants. That's Within it. limits, I'm not going to give away a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> those are damn. Those are expensive. Yep. Uh, yeah, I will do a giveaway. Okay, yay! I love giveaways. Okay. Cool. cool. Thanks for coming, you guys. I'm glad to hang out again. Yeah, I will see you later. Else. Goodbye. <laughs> see you next week. <laughs> Just push the buttons. Just stop already. I was giving you a chance to say bye. 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 Bye, guys. <laughs>